when we were preparing to come here and we were discussing what we'd do, it felt like an opportunity to really, really enjoy and explore the visual possibilities of the location in conjunction with Mazda. I think there's a, there's a strange thing when you go to a culture that's very, very different from your own. Genuinely, you feel a bit disorientated. There's so much going on here and there's so much life and it's, and it's a absolutely stunningly beautiful location too. We, we wanted to see it through the eyes of somebody who had a really strong affinity with Lake Baikal. There's a, a museum, an ecology centre, and one of the ecologists, a woman called Irina Layasoto, I'd got, got a very strong sense that she was somebody that had a, had a very good perspective on the ecology of the lake, but also the, the history of the lake and, and also the future of the lake. To have somebody like that to lead us through this story was, was a real joy and a pleasure. The snow had covered over the ice in, in most of the places we were filming. Actually, once we got going, you still had this sensation that we were in this, this place where the sort of visual opportunities just kept on hitting you from every direction. It, it immediately became clear that we were collecting some lovely, lovely captivating imagery. Just having this sort of blank canvas and this uh, vehicle to film and the interplay between infinity background and the, and the powerful red of the car in the foreground, it was, it was a really striking, arresting, powerful image. There's something really serene, there's something really magical about this kind of void, this wonderful, wonderful, brilliant, beautiful space. I thought that was something that sort of sat really, really comfortably between the idea of this expedition and Mazda's design ideas. Mm -hmm.